Hey guys, Coach D again here today. Today we're going to talk about doing band rows. For, for those of you guys who have bands and don't necessarily have a lot of kettlebells or dumbbells or barbells to do work, we're going to show you how to use these guys and do some rows at home for you. So our primary goal here is to work your back. So we're going to take the skinny band here, we're going to find something in the house, and we're going to wrap it around it, just like this, like a staircase or something like that. Now notice here, I have the band around, and I'm pulling it through the loop here. That's exactly what we want. I want to pull it tight, so that's secure. If you don't have a second band, you can do the same thing with just this one band and row it to yourself like so. But if you have a second band, we can take this second band and loop it through that first band and now give ourselves some more range of motion here. So on this band row here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it to my body like so here. Nice and easy. Now, if you want to turn it into a seated row, I have my DC blocks here. I'm going to sit down, and I'm just going to extend my arms, chest is staying up, pull it into me, and right back out. Now, if I want to make this exercise harder, what I want to do is I want to switch the bands. I want to put the big band on and the little band on this end. So that's going to look like this. Take this guy out of the loop. Take this guy out of the loop. And then we're just going to switch them, like so. And so now I have increased tension with the bigger band. So if I do a row, be it standing up or being it sitting down, it's going to be slightly harder. All right, hope that helps you guys at home. If you only have some bands, here's a great way to do some work on your back. Take care.